Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and this is Tales of Instacart, although I am transitioning into Instacart and Drive Up and Go in-store shopper again. So for me, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a nice blend of a couple of, you know, pots going and I don't put all my egg, yeah, I guess it's eggs in the basket, right? I don't put my, all my eggs in the one basket of Instacart anymore. You know, I went on the other day and I looked and it's like somebody gave me a four star. It was raining. We had like three, three inches of rain in one day. And it's like, and that person gave me a four star. And it's like, we have paper bags. They don't allow plastic down here, you know, on Cape Cod. And so it's like, so you didn't answer your door when I said I was arriving. It's raining and there's paper bags. Please, you know. Please know that. Um, and you gave me a four star. Why don't you do your own shopping when it's raining, lady or man? And then, you know, you only, you know, you can get disgusted with yourself with the paper bag. I just, it makes me crazy. It makes me crazy that Instacart allows these people to like put this, this lower rating into our, into the app and we pay for it so dearly. The punishment is much worse than the crime, and you know this if you've been working for Instacart. I, I just can't, I just get so furious, and I watched Jen on the go, and you know, she reminded me uh, again that Instacart is so punishing. They don't do anything for us. She was such an advocate for all of us full-time Instacart shoppers, and you know, those of you out there that do this, it, if you're not doing it for extra money, and you're doing it full-time, it ends up being so torturous. The, Instacart doesn't have our backs. They don't, they don't give a flying about us. And it just is so amazing that we continue to work. You know, when I think of what I make per hour with Instacart, it's crazy. In the summer, it was okay. There was always a next to go to, a next and a next and a next. But now that it's fall, it just, it, it just is so tough to have a next to go to. I mean, there are crickets. There are crickets. I am ready to go by 6 a.m. on an Instacart shopping day, and there are crickets. And sometimes I remember the last, the last um, Instacart, the last day that I did Instacart, because I'm once again in training for the drive up and go, even though, you know, it's just getting the rust out <laughs> again. Um, so two days ago when I did Instacart, I didn't have an order until 7.42 in the morning. I was ready at 5.42 in the morning. So that's two hours of wondering, WTF? Where's the food order? Hmm. <laughs> Photo. And, um, and so it, it, I, I, I'm glad that I've got another basket that I can, you know, get derive some income from because Instacart and so maybe I did have the next, the next, and the next that day, but I didn't have anything for the first two hours of the day. So even though I stop at noon, one at the latest, you know, I, I can't make what I was making in the summer. I just can't, even if I'm busy the entire time. You know what I'm talking about. And the mileage, who is getting... The, the ones that are close to the store, or maybe those orders come in later in the day when I've already stopped. You know, one time I did, I did go out after I ate my meal in the afternoon and do some more shopping, but now it's getting dark earlier. <laughs> it's really funny. Well, kind of. So anyway, I'm happy to, to not be depending on Instacart for my livelihood. They just pummel they just pummel your heart and they pummel your self-esteem and they pummel you. If you're, even if you're a five-star person, you give five-star service. No, none of us Instacart shoppers walk into the store to do an order and say, yeah, I'm really, I'm going to get them rotten fruit and I'm going to get the meat that's brown and I'm going to get them chicken and it's going to leak in the bag because I'm not going to put it in a baggie. So I want it to leak all over the bag and ruin all of those groceries. So you know, they'll have to get a refund. None of us, I'm not going to get them any outdated dairy. 
you know, or I'm going to only get them outdated there. None of us walk in there and think that. And yet when these customers say to Instacart, they're getting outdated dairy, they're getting rotten meat, they're getting, you know, moldy strawberries in the organic strawberries that they asked for. They're not getting that from any of us. You know, I will put out of stock before I'll give somebody some wet, soggy, moldy fruit or apples that have, you know, that they're nice and shiny, but they've got so many bruises on them or wormholes or razor cuts where somebody cut into the box to get them out. We don't do that. And, and so for Instacart to honor these people and give them refunds and give us, then they give us lousy ratings and we have to dig out of the hole that we didn't dig. Oh, it, it just, it really is just such an esteem downhill journey working for Instacart because you know in your heart that you're giving it all, you're giving it your best, especially if you're digging out like I have for the last month, and then somebody dings you again. And it's like, this is ridiculous. You know, you couldn't do the job that I do because I've been doing this for four years, right? Right? You know, I've been in these stores for four years. I know where the items are placed. I know how to reach behind and get a fresher one. I know how to do all of this stuff. And it's like, you know, you're welcome to get dressed and go out in the rain and do your own shopping if you think you're going to do better or if you think you're going to find the product that I have looked for where it's usually placed and then on the, you know, 20 different end caps where they offer things on sale where you could find that, you know, Quaker Oats 18 ounce old fashioned tub that you couldn't find in all the other places. Trust me. If you're an Instacart shopper that's seasoned, you know how to shop. You know what you're looking for. So don't let these horrible ratings and Instacart's constant punishment convince you that maybe you shouldn't be doing this. If, if that is the case, then make sure that you have a W-2 on the side or you're able to do another um, app that is a little bit, little less punishing. Shipped never wanted me, so that took care of that. I do point pickup, and I'm sure that there's other grocery um, apps that we just don't have here on Old Fashioned Old Cape Cod, if you're fond of sand dunes and salty air, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. And so do keep doing the best you can. If it's your only income, just brush yourself off, tell you that you are worthy of the five stars because you do give the customer five stars. We have no control over what they rate us and we have no control over how Instacart honors them, believes them, trusts them, and we're just all lousy shoppers, you know, that aren't worth what they give us. I mean, or any more. It, it's just become so sad, hasn't it? I just, it, it's just amazing to me when you get an order and it's for $17, they're paying seven for the batch, even if the customer is giving you 10. So that's a $10 tip and a $7 order, but there's 40 items and it's 6.8 miles away, $17. So by the time you finish that, you've put in two hours, right? So you're making $8.50 an hour to do all of that. And they gave you a $10 tip. I like $10 tips. I'm not complaining about a $10 tip. So when I see an order for no no tip, I just I just laugh and I watch it linger there. And then I watch them pull it. And then I watch them put it back in and nothing happens, nothing happens. And then they might, uh, Instacart might even add a dollar or two to incentivize you. So for $9, you can do this order for no tip. I still won't do it. I wouldn't do it if it ended up $50 with no tip because that no tip person doesn't think you are worth it. And that's not a good thing. Anyway, this has been Sarah with Instacart Tales and a rant. I will see you here the next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.